hello guys so in today's video i'm going to be looking at top level so how i see top level in my own website is like like any page or any window that launches on top of another window so let's say you create a particular window and maybe you want to launch another window so that window will basically launch on top of the main window that you have like if you look at the name top top so it means it launches on the top level of another window so that's how i see top level in my own ways so right now before we look at the top level well, let's get a, a simple window so right now i just import tk from tk import as there is and i assign my window to tk then i launch it using the main loop so let's give it a size so we can say window dot geometry so let's give it a size of 900 by 600 so let's launch it so as you can see we have a simple window now so the next step is we are going to create a top another window so first let's get some button that will give us the top level so let's come down here let's say button or we'll assign it to button so we are putting it on the window so window then uh, okay let's say yeah okay let's give it a size uh, let's put some test on it first so let's say top level so let's say font so let's say boot boot let give it font size of 20 then one last thing let's give it like a background or bg so i have this color code in mind so let's say zero zero five five f two. All right. So that's the okay f e not three. So let's place the button. So button dot place. So give it s of s coordinate two hundred. Then y coordinate of let's say 100 so now when we launch our main window you can see this button on it so we are going to add a function such that when you click on this button it launches our top level window so on top of this button let's define a window so we we'll say let's call it pop-up I, I usually call it pop-up window because so pop-up all right so inside let's say top level window and then we'll assign it to top level so let's give it a weight as well weight and height so top level window dot geometry so dot geometry so give it a width of let's say 500 by 400 so now let's come into our button then we are going to call the command inside so let's say command that will call our pop-up function so it means when we click on this button the command here will execute this button on top right. 
so let's launch our window and see so you see that when we click on this it gives us the top level so now let's look at some of the attributes of this top level so we can come here we can just say window we can add we can add this window so this window basically that's more or less say you're having so many top level windows and sometimes the window displays maybe you want the window to be attached to this window so maybe like you just have to assign it to this it doesn't do anything the way when it's on it you still have it if you leave it you still get the same thing so putting this you know our main window the name of our main window we assign it to tk using the window so this window means you want to attach the top level window to the main window once again if you leave it empty it still works it's still the same thing so but i prefer to leave it there since it doesn't matter so once again you can also treat this top level as a main widget so let's see you can give it some attributes like flat can give it attribute relief flat then you can also give it a background which is not i don't recommend it this way but let's look at it anyway so let's give it a background of let's say zero zero color of nine six eight eight so which means if i launch my window you can see it changes the background of the top level window but the reason why i said i don't recommend using this with that let's say somebody come into your syntax or maybe in the future i'm referring to your syntax maybe you see this you may treat it as a widget so to not confuse yourself let's give it attributes like how we give attributes to a normal window so that oh when somebody is looking at the syntax you look at this he sees that okay so this is another window you are creating here so the person won't treat it like okay this is a widget so instead of doing that let's come down here and we we'll say top level top level window dot config just as we give background to take in that window so config we we'll say Beijing then we we'll give it the color so the color was at 009688 so we launch it we basically get the same thing here so you can see uh, the color of the uh, window and another thing is okay you can even let's change this icon let's say the little let's change the ico there you can also change it just at once like i said you can treat it like a main window so i have some ico so so that you don't get i have some ico here so i'm going to use this ico inside it so here i'll just say top level window dot icon bitmap so inside i have a folder called assets so let's give a quote i have a folder called assets and inside the asset folder i have another folder called icu and inside that icu folder i have the icu file called aa.icu so if i launch it you can see it changes the icu there you can see it changes the icu from this initially was that it changes it to the picture i was talking about so once again inside i have a folder asset inside the asset folder i also have another folder icu inside the icu folder i have this file so for you not to get confused how i managed to do that so i just defined a window dot icon bitmap 
and I just added the ICO there. Another thing is we can change the title as well. So we can say top level window dot title. So title. So let's say let's call it top level window. So when we launch it. can see the title changes to top level look at the title that it changes to top level there so so once again so let's like i said let's remove this it doesn't change anything but this is how i prefer it however you prefer it it doesn't matter so let's leave it empty so let's what again can we do to this so this is our top level. Anything you want to do, maybe you want to put maybe buttons or label on it. Still the same thing. So okay, let's copy this button. So on our top level, let's paste it. So we say so this command so th this time around because it's on the top level we have we call the top level window here so it means this button will appear on the top level window so let's say let's just call it button doesn't matter just to differentiate it so let's change this to like white. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can just write white. Doesn't matter. And let's make it like that. So let's make it like ten. And let's make this like ten also. So when we launch it. can see the button on our top level window you can see the button on our top level window so like i said whatever you you just treat it like a main window so with this when somebody looks at this like once i was like i was saying somebody look at this the person look like okay so this is a new window you are creating here but it's not going to treat this like a widget or something so this is basically some of the attributes of top level we have so many of them i can't go through it or i'm just giving you the important ones now so in case if you have any attributes or anything you're trying to do on the top level window and i have not said anything about it in this video you can just comment about it then i'll help i'll help you figure it out so thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe if this video is helpful